here in this code sample we have the function f1 and inside f1 we have the definition for f2 here we try to print the value of number now first there will be an attempt to identify number as a local variable for f2 if that attempt succeeds then the value of that variable will be printed out if a number cannot be um, identified as a local variable of f2 there will be a try to find a variable number as a non-local variable maybe a variable in the outer scope of f2 a local variable in f1 that will be treated as a non-local variable inside f2 now here in this code sample we don't have any um, number variable within f1 which is the closing scope for f2 so there will be now an attempt to identify identify number as a global variable a variable defined within the model this specific model and this try succeeds so here in this code sample i expect to get the value for to be printed out to the screen now let's put this in comment it doesn't interest us for now so as you can see when i execute this code sample i get the value for printed out to the screen now if we add a local variable number like that then for uh, and let's say it, it's value something else then we can say that we can expect here to have the number seven to be printed out to the screen because first there is a try to identify number as a local variable for this f2 function if that try fails then there is a try to identify number in the enclosing scope or its enclosing scope and, and so on so if we add number of over here with the value uh, 8 we can expect now to have 8 printed to the screen and if there isn't any uh, non-local variable in the outer scope then there is a try to identify number as a global uh, variable so if we didn't have this line we can expect to have 4 printed out to the screen over here.